Okay, welcome to this uh, PHP tutorial on uh, multiple file uploads using the sort of HTML5 attribute. Um, this is another request from a user, uh, which, as usual, I can't remember who, but here you go to that person. Um, yeah, so the way this works is using sort of standard HTML. Um, unfortunately, it does make the page invalid, um, as you can see here, because the attribute isn't technically valid, but it is supported by um, sort of most major browsers, obviously excluding Internet Explorer, um, but we won't go into that, or my opinions of it, but you know, um, it's not very good, basically. Alright, um, so the way this works is, um, you can sort of get this very standard looking HTML form. Um, oh, I suppose I should quickly mention, um, I'm working in this sort of single folder here, um, We've got this upload page which I've got open in my browser at the moment, that's this page, and we have this uploaded files, which is the folder which where the files are going to be uploaded. Currently you can see that it's empty, so there are no files in there. Um, and the way this works is, um, it's like it's like I said, it's a standard HTML element, there's no flash, which is sort of the common way to do multiple file uploads. So you click browse, you get this sort of fairly normal looking um, file box, and you can select a like number of files, whereas usually you can only select one. And then you click open, and they all appear in here. I'm um, sure if you get yeah, if you can get to scroll across, you see. Oops, they are sort of comma separated. Um, and when you click upload, nothing happens with this script because I haven't like got any set any messages up or anything. Um, but if I just browse this folder again, hit refresh, you see all three of those files have been uploaded. So this is quite a useful thing if you had like an image hosting site or well, a file or any kind of upload system really. Um, so with this you can allow your user to upload multiple files um, using standard HTML um, and sort of nothing too complicated like Flash. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Um, it should just be these, this introductory part and the other parts because it's fairly, well, it's very simple really. Um, I'll explain the HTML as well because otherwise I won't have anything to talk about. So yeah, join me in part one and I'll show you how to do this.